Does hypersensitivity around the mouth occur quite a lot in these patients? Mm. Is that quite standard? Yeah, so some, sometimes patients um, can come to us with developed hypersensitivity, so we might start off with a program um, very much, so we use um, sort of an oral desensitisation approach, maybe with a, a gloved finger dipped in water, a, a program of um, sort of firm touch along the inside of the gums and the face, just to get people used to having that touch. Often toothbrushing is a really good useful task to start with before you go on to taste because it involves a lot of the same stimuli so smell taste putting something to your mouth but actually um, slightly less risky and you can just put a dab of toothpaste on um, so yeah we might use that program and if once someone can start to tolerate a bit of toothbrushing then we might do some tastes I think the other thing is sometimes when people aren't safe to carry on with tastes I've worked with families in the past to get them toothbrushing instead because actually they're concerned about, is the patient swallowing, are they getting the opportunity to practice? And by doing oral hygiene or care, you're, you're providing that, that same opportunity um, just to keep those skills going before you might then move on to, to taste if they become safe in the future.